may have made mistakes, but you have to learn to forgive yourself. Quit beating yourself up over what didn't work out. Sometimes we can forgive others easier than we can forgive ourselves. You can't change what's behind you, but you can do something about what's in front of you. Look, if you want to be in business for yourself and free, you must learn to dominate. If you want to get rich, you want to be really successful. When I say rich, I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about a rich life, freedom, time with family, choices, get to do what you want. You get to move where you want, go where you want, do what you want. But you got to get in the game to dominate the game. You got to look for every opportunity. Whatever you want, you got to commit all the way in and think in terms of domination, not a spectator. You don't want to be a spectator, folks. Spectators pay, players get paid. Whatever you think you're worth, if you're not sure of your own value, your own goals, and what you want, the world will never reward you of what you want, your value, and your goals. In order to do something you've never done, you've got to become someone you've never been. You've got to become a risk taker. This God said, if you're not willing to risk, you can't grow. And if you can't grow, you can't become your best. And if you can't become your best, you can't be happy. And if you can't be happy, then what else is there? But imagine, if you will, being on your deathbed and standing around your bed, the ghost of the dreams, the ideas, the abilities given to you by life, but you, for whatever reason, you never pursued those dreams. You never acted on those ideas. You never used those gifts, and there they are looking at you with large angry eyes saying, we came to you, and only you could have given us life, and now we must die with you forever. And the question is, if you die today, what dreams, what ideas, what gifts will die with you? Just be scared and do it anyhow. Because in order to do something you've never done, you've got to become someone you've never been. When you're pursuing your greatness, you don't know what your limits are, so you act like you don't have any. People that are hungry believe always strive to get on top in life because it's the bottom that's overcrowded. Mm. People that are hungry believe do what you know, not what you feel. People that are hungry have zero excuses for not pursuing their dreams. They make no their vitamin and they come back again and again and again. But sometimes life doesn't turn out the way we thought. You gave it your all, but the business didn't succeed. Maybe you too have failed. The good news is God already knew it was going to happen. It didn't stop your destiny you're still going to accomplish your dream. You're still going to have a happy family. You're still going to meet the right person. You may have failed, but you are not a failure. That was a moment in your life. That was one season. It doesn't determine your future. Don't let that mistake define who you are. Quit being discouraged over what didn't work out. You did your best, but the business didn't make it feels like a failure. No, that's not how your story ends. God led you into the desert because he has something much bigger in your future. He had to close that door to get you to the fullness of what he has in store. If you can track failure, you can also track success.